All right. Well, I've been gone for a while. Uh, had some health issues and uh, kind of stopped me from really doing anything. Uh, well, it's a fancy blue light, isn't it? I've been going for a while. Hadn't really got a chance to do anything, basically because I wasn't allowed to exert any force or lift more than five pounds. Uh, long story short, had a heart attack. Uh, went into the hospital. Had a quintuple bypass. And then after, after a week in the hospital, came home and I was a prisoner here for uh, a good month before I was able to get cleared uh, <clears throat> as you can tell from the mess behind me I was doing all kinds of little things I probably shouldn't have been doing but I was bored out of my mind that being said after I was cleared the very day I was cleared I had this brainstorm in my head that uh, I remembered that the military used these little fiberglass or aluminum poles for like mosquito netting <clears throat> so after my first doctor appointment that day we went to Omaha's uh, army surplus store and they did have they did have them and they actually cut me a pretty good deal because I bought a whole bunch of them. 19 I think about 19 of them some of them were fiberglass Six, 16 of them were uh, aluminium uh, not the ones with the ridges just the smooth side and then the rest were fiberglass and I wanted those up at the top for this antenna that I was going to build <clears throat> that way I didn't have anything inductive causing me grief later on so this is kind of what I came up with uh, these are the poles I'm talking about right here and uh, one on the left is the fiberglass one uh, I think one got damaged in transit uh, they're really fragile so I don't recommend using them for any kind of real support because I think these were for like mosquito netting or that netting uh, that stealth netting uh, that they use to uh, you know like hide planes and stuff with I can probably find some photos or throw some superimpose some photos in this the plan was was I was gonna do a wire dipole when I first started uh, playing in HF, I made a wire fan dipole. It was 40, 20, uh, 40, 20, 10, and I think 6. There was 4. There was definitely 4. And this thing looked horrible out in the backyard. But it actually worked great. <clears throat> and it was only, the max height on it was like 20 feet. Well, I wanted to get up higher. But it had to be light. That Putting two uh, top rails together and swinging that thing up in the air yeah that was rough so I knew I had to find something lighter and the thing that I found that was lighter was these poles so this is what I ended up building uh, this antenna here which is nine sticks high which brings me to we had it at six they're four foot each and that brought me up to uh, uh, should be 24 feet yeah 24 feet and then uh, yesterday I got the wild hair to pull it down and pulled it down and I added uh, three more sticks so we're now at 36 feet high which made it kind of hard to to maneuver around but overall I think if if I had maybe bigger rope I think I've got one eighth in there. I think if I had, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if, if there is a five sixteenths paracord, it would be more secure. And I, if I had some kind of pivot on the bottom, I could lift this thing up by myself fairly easily. Uh, on the ends, I've got four sticks. Uh, they're sixteen foot high, and all I did was drill a hole up in the highest one, and. Uh, I just stuck a carabiner in there. Uh, it really needs some kind of pulley or something that's going to stay. Uh, this carabiner moves around. It's actually looped over itself. It makes it kind of difficult. 
the other one the shed's in the way of where it needs to be it's not much of a shed it's just a little plastic piece of trash that my brother-in-law found in the in the garbage and we had a metal shed off to the left that was in worse shape than this we're building a new shed just like I said it got taken out of the game for a while but they're all they're all held down by three points the tent stakes or the military uh, tent stakes and they seem to be pretty good I mean compared to the to the stakes that I was using for <clears throat> from uh, Lowe's the little I don't even know what they are I thought they were really sturdy material and uh, come to find out and after a year or two one good whack with the hammer and they're toast the they look blue that's because they got the tape on there to keep me from scratching it when I was drilling it and I just never peeled it off that these rings are out of golf car windshield old golf car windshield and if you ever need to make stuff like insulators or or stuff you really don't want to break you could probably go to any golf car any golf car service shop or place that you know rebuilds golf cars and, and just ask them if they got any old old windshields you know old scratched up windshields that they're throwing away uh, all of those things are made out of uh, polycarbonate uh, and I've shot the I've shot these with my most powerful uh, airsoft rifle which I think is roughly just a hair over 500 feet per second at point blank range and it won't break it I cut these the clean ones up I cut these up and I put them on the front of my GoPro lenses uh, GoPro cases uh, to keep them from getting broken because I have actually had one broken before I had uh, I want to say 878 this was the first project I guess you'd say that I've put together and it wasn't like extremely hard or anything except for spending money that was extremely hard uh, I got a really good deal on it and uh, I think they charged me like five dollars a stick because I bought so many sticks the fiberglass ones they charged me four dollars a stick for but they're really great over there let me pause this for a second because somebody just pulled up all right yeah that was my wife that just pulled up uh, where was I anyhow Who's that? Oh, it's Gavin unloading the trunk. Yeah, this is the first project. The next project will be, uh, like I said, that boat. Then I will start filming the glass drawn project, which unfortunately, I guess I deleted it or lost it whenever I switched cameras. But uh, me cutting, or actually it was Goob, cutting out the, the back of this boat. Uh, we, we lost it. I got pictures of it and pictures of the of the uh, stuff coming out of it, but I don't have any video. But I will be doing video of of uh, me building the you know taking off the all the wood that I can. It's not going to be perfect like the skeeter is beside it. Uh, there's just places in there that I cannot dig this wood out. Uh, and it might be for the best because I don't know if five gallons is going to be enough to to actually fill this thing up. I may have to get another tub of this stuff. If I do, then we're going to tear the floor out too and we're going to fill the floor with this stuff as well. So I'll end up probably getting two more tubs of this just uh to fill in the rotten floor and then we'll put new carpet <clears throat> I do have paint I have uh, I'll superimpose this on the on the image as well but I've got mm, up this way it's backwards huh didn't realize I was backwards oh maybe that's why okay uh, oh Rust-Oleum Marine Coatings Topside Paint. It's not anti-fouling paint, so it's not stuff I can put on the bottom, but uh, it'll work for the top. And uh, it'll at least make the top look good. I think with a good scrubbing, we could probably make the bottom look good, too. Uh, it's a rather wide boat and very aggressive uh, angle going down. You know, as opposed to the Skeeter, which you know has some 
pretty straight down sides to it so the sun's bleached it bleached it fairly well I could probably polish it out but I don't really care uh, Rick's buying Rick's buying that boat after I pull the motor off and I'm leaving everything else with the exception of the with the uh, exception of the antique poles and stuff uh, all that's not fishing poles the sea poles uh, those I'll keep and put on this boat because I really like those those things are sturdy um, but I'm leaving the seats and stuff in that and I'm going to put some high back seats in the Glastron but I've got replacement uh, already fitted it replacement steering uh, cable uh, I've got a whole handful of electronics I got bags and bags and bags of blue lights because the boat's blue um, to put inside live well inside the little compartment back there where the batteries and stuff go uh, oh which the batteries are coming out of the skeeter uh, since the place bur our job burned down I don't have any extra junk uh, AGM batteries so I'm gonna keep these 10 year old ones and and uh, I guess use them until they crap out so that's what's on the agenda so far uh, I don't have any other major products projects coming up uh, unless y'all can come up with ideas I mean there's a lot of stuff behind me I'm closing this for a second time because apparently I didn't set up a uh, audio capture device on the full screen <laughs> so anyhow uh, yeah if y'all can come up with ideas or you know suggestions of what I could do next I mean I, like I said I still got the boat project uh, I do have the El Camino um, I've already put a new intake and carburetor on it uh, I don't intend to spend a whole lot of money although I seem to have uh, I've got headers and uh, collector mufflers coming uh, those will come probably sometime in my lifetime they are on order but I don't have any ideas of like bodywork or because it's got lots of hail damage uh, Haggerty's uh, at one time for my dad appraised it at 8,000 I've seen some that appraise out for 14,000 I don't think the trucks worth 8,000 um, but you know it is what it is my oldest boy drives it back and forth to work that could be a project if you have some ideas I, I, I do want to find some wheels for it nothing new so I mean that would be a restoration of like old wheels I'd like to find some old slot some old uh, uh, oh, I think Inky made them the nickel not the nickel slots the uh, magnesium slots like I put on just about every car that I've had and back when I was a kid and I still like that look do you have a project of building a shed uh, I don't know if there'll be much excitement to that uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of stupidity with it but, uh, what else we got I was gonna sink a uh, sand well just for shits and giggles to see if I could do it so, I don't know uh, give me some suggestions uh, I got tons and tons of tools with the exception of I don't have any any metal fabrication tools anymore got rid of it all uh, but I can make stuff at work too um, you now to bring here to, to to do a project if need be so any suggestions uh, uh, with that I'm gonna close this video out I'm KI5 CEY uh, giving y'all 73's and y'all be good